Fatty's sister-in-law is a lucky person at first glance. After the flood, they came to the river to mow the grass, accidentally found a car swept by the flood. The badly damaged car lay quietly by the river bank. The fat sister-in-law quickly climbed to the bottom of the car, carefully cleaning up the debris. He pulls out his cell phone and calls for a tow truck. The fat sister-in-law is going to tow the car home. Do a game! Unprecedented comprehensive dismantling and restoration. You can make a lot of money if you fix it. Soon, the person called by the fat sister-in-law came to the scene in a tractor. The fat sister-in-law commanded someone to stop the tractor. The two took out the rope and chain, connecting cars and tractors. Then the tractor slowly started, dragging the car towards the fat sister-in-law's house. Tow the car home. The fat sister asked the tractor master to help, slowly pushing the car into his garage and park in the right place. The car moves slowly. Finally, it stopped steadily in the middle of the workshop. The fat sister-in-law opened the door and got out of the car. Next, the fat sister-in-law began to get busy. First, you need to clean up the debris inside he the knows. car. Before examining the damage to the car in depth, the internal environment must be organized first. This allows for a more accurate judgment, which parts need to be repaired or replaced. That sister-in-law bent down fully and cleaning every corner under the seat. Clean up the internal branches and debris. As the cleanup progresses, car interior it gradually regained its original neatness then, and brightness. The fat sister-in-law began to carefully inspect the damage to the car. He popped the hood, examined the various components in the engine Make sure there are no carefully. missing damaged or loose Let's parts. Let's follow in the footsteps of the fat sister-in-law. Have a look. How did he take apart and repair the car? The video is a bit long. Please be patient.
The more powerful Thank <laughs> you. 